Folks, all I got to say is buckle up. We are going to get a new inflation reading. We're going to get CPI and PPI this week. Why I say buckle up? Because it looks like we are going to get validation. We're going to get a trend formation that CPI, a.k.a. inflation, is going higher. Might this cause the Fed to change what they're doing? Might this cause rate increases? Might this cause a calamity? We're going to find out from Mr. Dan Burr. Or might, or might this be the catalyst the market's been waiting for to sell off? Maybe. Maybe. Let's There's see. There's your headline. There's your headline. Yes. <laughs> awesome. So what are we going to talk about? What, what's going on with inflation? CPI is a big deal. Last month, as I recall, it ticked up. We broke trend. Yep. And based on expectations, it looks like we're going to get trend validation. It's going to go higher again. It looks that way. Let's uh, take a look at the charts that we usually look at the weekend mm -hmm. before CPI. Yep. Um, this is my website for anyone interested. I have what, what we're going to talk about is in the newsletter. So the newsletter is right here. You click that button. You can get it for free. There's a bunch of other things on here. If you want to be reminded of the newsletter, just go down here and sign up for the zero dollar free newsletter notification, and then you'll get a reminder that it's available. Um, we don't give away or share emails, so you should never get a spam by signing up on the site. doesn't ask for a credit card, none of that. Um, if, you, if you do the annual or the monthly, you get access to the rest of the website, but everything on this main page is free, basically. Mm, so like let's it. talk about CPI. So the first one we'll look at is the CPI report headline CPI. And this shows you the 12-month base effect. Mm -hmm. See if I can, oops, that's not the one I wanted to hit. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Oh, yeah, that? it's not a, yeah, that good? that's good. Mm -hmm. All right, so this, you can see I've already moved this 12-month this window to the right. So this is where we're going to report on Wednesday. What you'll see is the one that drops off is a very small one. Mm, yeah, it is. So normally when a small one drops off on the back end, that hurts or does not help right. the new one that comes in. So the first step is if a small one's dropping off, that likely means inflation is either going to be flat or it will go up slightly. Mm. Okay? Yep. Now, they are forecasting down here shows you last month. So headline CPI was 3.2 up from 3.1. The forecast was 3.1. Right. So it came in hotter than forecast. The forecast for this month for, for Wednesday is 3.4. Wow. All right. Say that again. The forecast is 3.4. The forecast is 3.4. <clears throat> so oh, remember gosh. last month, and if we look at this up here, the one that dropped off last month was a pretty big one. Yeah. So that one should have actually helped CPI. And the reason it didn't, we'll talk about it in a minute, and that's commodities, among other things, but right. commodities is one of the big ones. So it actually went up. So forecast came in flat, probably because they're primarily looking at this. This big one dropping off should help CPI. So it came in flat, but actually came in higher than forecast. Hmm. Now we're forecasting 3.4. So does that mean it will come in higher than 3.4? Will it come in wow. at 3.5 maybe? And then core down here, forecast was 3.7. It came in at 3.8, also slightly higher. Hmm. Although it was down from the previous month. Yeah. I, right? it's, so, that, so, yeah. so just real quick, what I've seen from the forecast is again, headline, is forecasted to go up. I did not realize by that much, but core is still forecast to go down, right? I uh, didn't. Look oh yeah, three seven. You have it right there. Oh no, that was no, that, that was, was last the, month. This is last month. month. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, but um, yeah, I've looked. So core is forecast you, to go it, down. You know, at me, 10. Me, I'll, I'll go to the newsletter because in the newsletter at the beginning of every week, I put in the calendar. So here's last week's calendar. Here's next week. So core is forecast to go down slightly. So yes. Yeah. Down, yeah, 10. This is a month over month. It doesn't have the forecast for year over year, but yeah. But okay. month over month for a headline is forecast to go down as well. But because of the base effect, it means it goes up. Right. Exactly. Right. Wow. I didn't realize it's for wow. Can you whew, forecast to go up two tenths? Oh, 
Right. Well, can you imagine if it is worse than that? No, I don't want to imagine that. So last month it was forecasted for three one. It came in at three two. Mm -hmm. This month is forecasted at three four. Now, why would that be? So the other chart we usually look at is the commodities chart. Right. And so the one that I had been using, and I've changed this, I've actually added two charts that we'll look at more closely. So this is the one that I usually show. Mm -hmm. This shows all of the rate hikes. Oh my God, look at ag, look at everything. Everything's up. Yeah, I know. We'll look wow. at that more closely in a second. So uh, first off, when the rate hike started here. The market just continued higher through all of these hikes. But yes, this this one, so what's highlighted right now is the month that will be coming up will be reflected yeah. in next week's CPI. Yeah, I usually just pick the middle and just look at the middle. Oh. Right. So last month, you can see this was this was dramatically going higher. It actually had started in January. But last month, I said, you know, this is going higher. So we may we probably will come in higher than the forecast of 3.1. Right. And we did. Came in with yeah, 3.2. But look at what's happened since then. Yeah, just right. Yep. And CRB too. So I had a comment, and I think it was somebody on your channel mentioned, mm -hmm. or it might have been somewhere else. I saw it. They said, "But yeah, agriculture is going up, but mostly because of cocoa." <laughs> no, so cocoa thought, has such a small percentage. Well, yeah. Well, that's what I thought too. Uh oh. So I, wrong? I thought, you know what? Let me let me get a closer in look at these commodities. Let's see what they're really doing. So I created a commodities only chart. Hmm. Now this is DBC, and so this is made up of primarily crude and gasoline and diesel, right? Okay. But it's got some metals and it's got some agriculture in it as well. It is definitely going higher. Mm -hmm. So again, this shaded area is what's going to be reported on next week. Okay, so this okay. is definitely yep. spiking higher with all of these. Down below, this is the DBA, this is the agriculture one. Look what percent cocoa makes up. Wow. Would you have imagined that? No, I would not have. I would have bet money was 2.5%, right. not 25%. Right. So this is the same DBA look that we had on this chart. Right, it's the same thing, same thing. Now let's dive into this one. Let's dive into wow. that specifically. It's more than okay. cattle. It's more than cattle, yeah. Huh. Twice as much twice as much as coffee. I would I would have bet cattle was the number one. It's more than soybeans, corn, and cotton combined. I would have bet sugar was number two. Yeah, sugar's way down here, 10%. <laughs> so okay. let's let's dive into that one and look at it a little more closely. So I created an agriculture commodities chart hmm. right here. These are all under economic charts. Look at you. <clears throat> so there's the DBA holdings that we just looked at. Right. All right. So again, you can see how it's shooting higher. <clears throat> I didn't highlight the, the month that will be reflected next week, but that's okay. I get it. It's the month, it's the month of March. You can see it, you can see it's parabolic for March. Yeah. But if you look down here, cocoa made up most of that move. <clears throat> right there. However, look at coffee. Sure. Yeah. Coffee is now following. And sugar is now following. Huh. So it means in corner just hanging out down here at the bottom. But these are the three that are really making up a lot of this move right here. Interesting. So is that enough? Is cocoa enough to say commodities are going to affect the the CPI. So I don't, so, I mean, I have to go back and look at the basket of goods inside CPI. Actually, you know what? Um, I, yeah, here we go. I think this might be it. So let's there look at this. So CPI is on the left. Okay. CPI on the left, PCE is on the right. Okay. So we're basically talking about 14.8 percent yeah which is the only is the only part where cocoa could play <clears throat> yeah okay and right. energy really isn't on the cpi 
Mm. I mean, it, you could think it's under transportation, maybe it's under other goods and services, but yeah, the major pieces of CPI doesn't include energy. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. So <laughs> based on all of that, now what do you think it's gonna the CPI is gonna come in at? By the way, that CPI PCE chart is under economic charts in this button right here. Right. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I, I think I think CPI headlines gonna is gonna validate the trend that it's going higher and that's gonna be concerning. Yes, yeah. It definitely will be concerning. Even if they meet the forecast. Yeah, if they I mean, yeah, if they go to three, even if they meet, I shoot, even if they miss by one, it still validates trend. Right. Now PPI is not on here. PPI is Thursday. Yeah. PPI is Thursday. And that, yeah. That, P PPI is meant to be a yawn. It looks like this, this yeah, month. So that looks like a big drop in PPI. But if we look at PPI here, 12 month rate of change. So there's the 12 months. You can see three month rate of change has been ticking up since December. Yeah. It's supposed to break that trend. <clears throat> yeah. So if, if it does come down, like it's saying, then this will probably be back down here near this low right here. Yeah. So PPI, I don't think is going to have a big effect on okay. things. Um, so what do you think? You've done some investigation. You've added some new charts for all of us, which we all appreciate. I think you validated the comment that Coco is having a disproportionate impact. Yes. yes. What do you think? What do you think of all this? I think if we go back to this one, yes, Coco has a dis disproportionate impact on this line, the DBA line. 25% of this line is cocoa. Although coffee and sugar are also ticking higher. Sure. But if you look at the CRB, which 41% of that is, uh, is these, mm -hmm. right? 39% is energy. That's ticking higher. But so is gas and oil. Remember, the shaded area is what the, what the next one will reflect. Correct. The gas and oil also are ticking higher. If this one went up by itself and the other ones were going down, I would say it probably wouldn't have much effect. But based on this, I think the 3.4 is probably pretty accurate. Yeah, I think so too. I think the real scary thing to think about is not the one we're going to get tomorrow or Tuesday or whenever it is. It's the one we get in May. So we get a third right, month so, with CPI so going up. Ooh. So let's look at that. In May, this big one drops off. True. I saw that earlier. Yeah. I think it's the one in June that's going to cause issues. Uh, yuck. So if if in May this one this big one drops off, but we we get all the commodities still moving higher, or let's say they flatten out, right? Yeah. Neutral. So we're, pro we're probably going to get a three another three point four number. Mm -hmm. Maybe okay. it might tick down to three three. Maybe. Right. Right. But then but then in the June report, then we go to three five three six. If, yeah, if commodities keep going up, or even if they stay where they are, and we get the small one right here, then the June report is going to going to tick up even higher. So the June yeah. report and, will be sometime mid June, and what would you say, June eleventh? Uh, June is the, is the Fed meeting. Yeah, eleventh. Yep. And do you know what? Do you have what the CPI? They'll is? have the CPI number by then. We may not have it, but they'll have it for sure. Let's see when the. Next one is. Uh, this is March. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Usually All it's right. the first full week. So it'll be right. They may have it the day of or something because they meet Tuesday, Wednesday. So I would, they're going to have the um, June number at the meeting. Yeah, they might have it, it by then. And if and if it is, if it does tick up like this, then June is the one they might actually raise instead of cut. Well, they're not cutting. It's just it's take June cut off the table. Yeah, so they're not you, cutting. You can't so cut they... with inflation going high. And then that, let's be clear, right? If if this goes the way we're talking about, three, four, three, 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 five. That, June, June, uh, June 12th, the day after the meeting. I know it is the day of, it's the day of the end of the meeting. So it's the okay, morning. So it's... The CPI comes out in the morning. So it's the 11th and 12th? Correct. 11th and 12th. Correct. Oh, my God. That is going to be an unbelievable meeting. That yeah. so, That's the day. If if we get a, a high, another high CPI, let's say it stays, 
let's say it just stays at 3.4 mm. and doesn't move. Mm -hmm. It could even go to 3.5 based on what I just showed. Yeah. And they have the meeting right after they get the report. Yeah. I mean, why not raise one more time? Well, here's the deal. If we get a 3.5 reading in June, I'm yeah, I'm certainly with you. I'm willing to entertain a raise, but I'm telling you right now, a July rate cut is off the table, which will yeah. also mean, which again, to my opinion, means September is off the table. We're not talking about November for the first rate cut. Right. Yeah, and it and it could be. I, I I don't agree that September will be off the table. I think I think, yeah, the Fed might not like to do it in September, but they might no they chance. might do it anyway. If if we get yeah. if we get these if we get these let's 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 think about this for a second. Sure. If all this plays out like we're projecting with CPI mm -hmm. and inflation. Yeah. Let's let's stop we, sharing the screen so we can talk in big windows. Okay, sure. There we go. There we go. So let's say CPI ticks up to three four. We get three four next week. Mm -hmm. We get in May we get we it stays at three four. Yep, flat three four. Yep. And, and then it goes June, to three five. The day of the meeting. Yep. Yep. It goes to three five or even just stays at three four. Yeah, let's go to three five. Let's play it out. Three goes <laughs> to three Fed, five. And the Fed says that's it. We not only have a trend, we have a solid trend. So how many is that now? It's four months. Four months. months. Four months. Right. Yep. Four months of high inflation. Yeah, high. Yeah. And yes, that meeting, June twelfth, they raise a quarter point. So then what happens? <clears throat> uh, yeah. All of all of these all of the small caps crash. Yeah. Right? The market goes down for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, no question. Small caps crash because they're very rate sensitive. Um, banks probably don't do well initially. Right. And you'll start to see more companies laying off and pulling back. Oh yeah. And the unemployment rate will shoot higher after. That'll be July. That'll be June 12th, right? Mm -hmm. So the June 12th. The June report, it's probably not enough time. The July report. Probably uh, August. It'll come out in probably August. Probably the August. Probably Friday. August. First Friday of August. Yeah. The August report will see the unemployment rate spiking. And that's where it might hit the SOM rule. Could be. And then in September, and if that happens, you get your. So you get a rate increase in June and then a rate cut in September? Right. <laughs> right. Ah. And that is why, folks, I don't see a, Ju a July rate increase. Because I, I could not, or June rate increase. I couldn't, because you're right. I, I think those dominoes are very valid. I think you've played it very well. I think the Fed sees it. And I can't imagine raising the corner and then 60 days later being forced to cut. Oh man, that that would be. Well, the the good news of that is, I mean, if the economy keeps humming along, even if with inflation going up, the good thing is that that last rate hike will, I think, scare enough people that that it will affect the economy. The economy will start to cool off. Oh, no, that's exactly and what the, you're saying. And yeah. and and it will give the Fed ammunition. Now, I sh I showed you all the charts, and I said this is normal. We are at a normal place right now. So the Fed has raised it enough that they can cut. But if they raise it one more, they've got plenty of buffer. Then oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, they can cut in September and just get back to normal again. So, all right. Well, let's play this game. Let's let's play this game just because I want to. So we're it's uh, April 8th of 2024 recording this. What are the chances they do zero all year on a scale of, you know, one to 100? No or zero to one. So they're no going to do something. Yes. I will put the chance of them doing nothing at 10%. Okay. Maybe even, I'll say 15%. Okay. So what are the chances they raise at least once this year in your mind? Um, last month, I said it was. Single digits. Not zero. I right. said it was not zero. Mm -hmm. Now, based on what I just went over. Yeah. I would say it's 30%. Oh, okay. I'll say it's I'll say it's 10%. So what are the chances we get one rate cut this year? Uh I think that's a hundred percent. Okay. Okay. How about two rate cuts? 
Uh, I think one is 100 percent, and and it will be in September. And oh, I think that, wow. okay. and I think the next one will be in. Is there an October meeting? In no, November. September. It goes to November no, sixth and seventh. So be another one in November. So I think we'll get two. Okay. Maybe three still. They wow. Do it again in December. It really depends. I mean, we have to look at things at that point because things are. Oh, going of to course, change. they're are they data dependent, Dan? Is that what it is? They're data dependent. Yes. So right now. We are, let's see, we are higher for longer for one, two, three, four, Started five, in July. six, seven, eight, and July would be- July would be a year. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. That'd be higher for longer for 12 months. Right. And we were 18 months in 2006. In 16 months before that, yep. We were, we were six, 15 months in, in the 90s. We were yep. six months at the end of the 90s. We were seven months before COVID. So 12 months is about right. 12 months okay. is, again, it's normal. Okay. Very cool. Well, the CBI is going to be interesting. Do you want to make a call? Do you think 3-4 feels like the right number? Yeah, right now I think 3-4. I think there's, that's, a, that's there's an outside chance, outside chance it could be higher, 3-5, but I think 3-4 okay. feels like the right number. Yeah. And again, I think the to your point, I love this. This month, I, I agree, three, four, next month's nothing. It's that one after that scares me. That little small base effect. Yeah. That could right. be a problem. That could right. be a problem. The Dan, you June, put out the one in June. The one in June, I think, is going to be a big problem because it comes the day of the meeting. I think exactly. that is going to be the big, big That issue. could be a barn burner. That could be that could be a very fun QA session for sure. Yes. Right. Uh, Dan, you do an amazing news newsletter each and every week. You got a lot of stuff on your website for free. More stuff uh, that they can subscribe to. What is it? Where can they find it? Uh, breakpointtrading.net, and I'm not sharing now, so I can't show it to you. But it's yeah. breakpointtrading.net. Make sure it's .net, not .com. Yep, breakpointtrading.net. Get it. Something .net. I look at each and every weekend. Dan, you're amazing. Thank you for coming back. Look forward to talking next weekend after CPI. Yeah, so yeah, it should be a fun one. There you go. Thanks, buddy. All right, take care.